Well, the U.S. Open is celebrating its 50th anniversary, and the fact that it includes both men and women players is due in large part to the work of tennis champion, trailblazer Billie Jean King. She is still fighting for gender equality in the workplace, fighting to level the playing court. I sat down with her before the women's match at the U.S. Open last night. I understand gender equity. I understand uh, equal pay because of the tennis business. People forget, they think of us as leisure. You guys, this is our business, so it's, it's business for us. But we fought very hard to have uh, equal prize money. And the U.S. Open was the first major in 1973 to have equal prize money for men and for women. I sat down with Serena and Venus earlier this year and mm -hmm. talked with them about pay parity and equality in the workplace. Why, in 2018, are we still talking about it? Well, it's just um, uh, sports are a microcosm of society. Men still make more money in tennis than women. But the wonderful thing is it's the, the four big majors, we are equal. And that sends a very strong message. And through the Billie Jean King Leadership Initiative, she's now partnering with some of the biggest names in business, uh, Disney, Starbucks, and Caesars, which is a company that I cover in the gaming industry, to help them achieve very lofty goals when it comes to equality for women in the workplace. Here's what she told me about it. Our job is to work with these companies in any way we can, we can to help them. I think what they like from us is the inspiration, to get people on board, to convince people that this is the right path to take. Men are much better than they used to be. The younger generations are fantastic. The millennials and Gen Z are the two greatest generations for inclusion I have ever seen. So Bob Iger was at the event last night and he said, for instance, at Disney, if they have a man and a woman coming into new jobs, even if the woman has far less experience, they're paying her the same as the man coming in, into the job with more experience because they want to overcome that disparity. Starbucks is doing some big things on looking at pay parity and they said they're going to make their process available to companies across the world for free so that other companies can take advantage of what they've learned. And Caesars has invested millions in studying pay parity because they say you cannot fix what you don't study. And they've pledged to do that every year. And look at it, they just released the results of that study, 98% pay parity across the board. So that's an example oh, for other yeah. companies and other industries. So, so, so Iger said that they're paying equally to women and men in the same job, even if the experience is different, to, to make up for past inequity? And he said, and he was challenged uh, in an interview at this event last night about, you know, things like um, movie roles that we hear about mm -hmm. actors having different pay for the similarly important roles. Um, and he said, but we're trying to overcome that by recognizing that there's been a problem and by doing something about it and, and trying to move forward.